hi guys welcome to another video and in this particular video i am going to talk about one of the most asked question like how much money an information security person i mean whoever is working on information security can make within a year uh, so this is one of the question i usually get a lot on my you know instagram and even comment box so you guys wanted to know like how much salary an information security person make if he or she choose information security as their career also i have seen a lot of people asking like what will be my salary if i completed my oscp and uh, you know how much it will hike i'll get and other kind of questions so do watch this video till the end to get this question answer and i'll be trying to give you overall like you know idea about how much salary a beginner intermediate and expert make uh, in information security especially in india uh, so all these conversation that we are going to have is like you know with respect to reference point as an indian salary not some foreign country or something like that so if you are new to my channel then please go ahead and smash the subscribe button do hit like share these videos to make everybody aware about this practical knowledge that i basically provide about information security so let's get started Now to begin with as a beginner uh, mostly people join as a fresher like after completing their btech usually but some people also join without degree so if you wanted to know that you know what are the different career level you can check my other video i'll put the i link in the uh, you know on the top of the menu also i'll put the link in the description you can go ahead and check it out so as an entry level uh, or beginner or whoever is like i'm considering less than 1 to 1 and 1/2 year experience they usually join as a fresher and uh, usually the salary goes like 3 to 5 right uh, so when i started it was around 3 but uh, when i say 3 3 it's like 3 lakh per annum so don't again don't get confused yourself by you know if somebody is getting 12 uh, if somebody is getting uh, 12 lakh per annum as in salary then he'll be getting like 1 lakh per month as in hand salary so it doesn't work that way i'm sure you guys are mostly aware about the uh, you know different meme post that goes around saying like what the salary look like on paper and what in hand salary so it's completely different there are multiple other component uh, you know like uh, your income tax uh, you have your insurance and all those different thing which i really don't want to go into salary structure so so what you see in like as in package let's say someone some somebody is getting 12 as an annual package then his monthly salary would be around 70 80 60 whatever depending on you know what all declaration and all those things that guy has done so we'll talk about that maybe some other video like how to make your salary or increase your salary okay uh, by doing some lot of proof investment and other thing so let's come to the beginner uh, stuff that is being a beginner a typically job uh, i mean salary range start from 3 to 5 again depend on organization to organization so i have seen some of beginners uh, usually st- uh, starting their career with 7 lakh 8 lakh as well so it depends uh, you know some organization pay uh, around 3 to 5 lakh some organization pay like you know even 10 lakh another kind of even 15 lakh for iit and other thing right so there are different ranges but for beginner you should consider that you will be getting minimum around 3 to 5 lakh as an initial uh, salary package so it's not like that also i have seen some of the startup paying really high amount and even paying really less amount some guys who were getting like less than 2.5 also i have seen uh, you know back in 2013 14 but right now um, i believe it's like around 5 lakh for a beginner uh, to get started as an uh, job with your information security now once you get an initial platform i definitely urge you to you know utilize the platform whatever uh, job you are provided with try to learn as much as you can basically this beginning 1 to 3 year most of the people learn to the max level i mean they reach do lot of they spend lot of uh, time with different research reading different article trying out different things uh, getting to community and other things so you need to learn as much as you can within first 3 to 5 year and uh, build yourself you know that skill set bullet skill set that will help you in future to get an high so once you are you know completing your one and a half year to three year let's say or let's say four year even that i count as an intermediate level uh, where somebody is with salary 
typically ranges from you know 7 lakh to let's say around 15 lakh okay so it's not like that somebody's having three years of experience will get around 15 lakh or will get around 7 lakh or 8 lakh it depends from organization organization as i said there are consultancy based company there are you know product security company there are some of the company who dedicatedly work on information security like you know payatu and other in india so uh, those company usually pay high even some company recognize your skill and i have seen some guy who are having close to two to three year experience but they were getting a package around 20 okay so i know this kind of person also also i know there are some guys who are having uh you know five year of experience but still getting less than 7.5 as in their uh, salary so it usually depends on your skill when you comes to an intermediate level if you have good skill and uh, usually also people try to switch company from one company to other company in those phases so you could see some good hike uh, in those uh, cases now let me talk about quickly you know how much is salary somebody will be getting if you switching from one company to another company so typically ranges as everybody says like 30 percent to 40 percent or 50 percent high but it's not like that i have also seen some of the guys who were getting even 100 percent or 120 percent kind of hike so i'm just giving one of the example so it doesn't have to be a specific person so i have one of my friend in essential who uh, was getting around uh, uh, you know seven lakh as in three year experience but when he jumped to another company let's say uh, he jumped to a vmware or let's say even flipkart other thing his package is typically started from 15 to 16 so that is where the cases you will say like you know this person has uh, got 100 percent hike but i have also seen like some guys who were in the same organization for long term because they find it really comfortable and they tend to you know live a happy life there so even that's not a bad choice but considering you should be happy about your job so yeah if they were getting around uh, 7.5 lakh being a three year five year experience kind of ranges that you expect but in intermediate again you should have the vision to you know look forward like what will you will do after five years or seven years and plan for your future and you know basically master a particular domain so when i say domain it could be you know web application it could be devops mostly people doing ci cd and other thing it could be some people are doing cloud security some people are doing iot security some people are doing hardware security so you need to find one master skill and stick to it and basically you will go beyond what is uh, what ranges that i said so yeah typically the bit, uh, intermediate guy Package started from 7.5 to goes up to 20-25 even I have seen five year experience guy when getting 2025 package so that's the typical ranges now coming about the you know senior analyst or senior security engineer something kind of so they will get a uh, package starting from let's say 15 to it ranges up to 30 40 50 whatever you can say so there are different organization have their own specific requirement I have seen some of the head let's say someone is working on amazon or uh, you know he's one of the uh, leader of amazon or even ola over different companies so they were getting like 50 60 whatever package you can talk about but after like 10 year experience okay so the intermediate guys typically start from ranges from five year to goes up to 10 year or 12 year so this is the buffer ranges that i am just saying it could be wrong also i'm just you know trying to give you an idea how much the salary ranges another thing based on different experience so it doesn't have to be pinpoint okay so i hope you would have got some knowledge now coming to the last question i believe most of the guy you ask like i have completed my oscp what will be my salary other thing now please note if you are a beginner or someone you should not expect like you will get 10 or 12 or you know 20 30 packages just by completing your oscp you need to have the skill uh, somebody will evaluate an uh, interviewer and they will judge and based on the requirement if you fit then they will hire you for the job and they will pay accordingly right so it is not like you know if you have completed oscp that your salary ranges will start from 12 or 10 whatever don't have that kind of mindset build your skill now second thing is if you are already working on an organization now typically it depends from organization to organization okay so if you are already working on an organization and your salary package is let's say around 10 okay just free on normal site you have two year experience you are getting around 10 package or three year experience you are getting in 10 package now that you have completed your oscp then most of the people they expect their salary to go at least by 30 percent or 40 percent you know or if not then they will they will try to change their job or other thing that's another thought but yeah they will typically expect at least uh, you know 30 percent or 20 percent hike which is fair enough so and also i have seen those kind of thing happening okay so it's not like you have completed oscp and you will get mandatorily hike but again as i said you shouldn't look at your salary package rather than you should look at your skill okay so if you are having oscp then i assume that you would have got some brilliant skill than compared to other 
at least a small tiny filter so that way you have some different ranking within a group of people so you should be again confident about your skill whenever you're appearing for interview and uh, yeah that's how you typically get your uh, you know salary hike if you have completed oscp okay it is not like you completed oscp means you'll get like 15 or 20 package so i hope this video would have helped you to give you some brief idea about salary package and the ranges and career in cyber security again please note this is all with respect to india okay not in foreign country because in foreign countries salary structure and their tax paying scheme everything is different okay we'll talk about that maybe some other day or some other video so i hope you would have got some knowledge thanks for watching do hit like share and subscribe have a great day see you soon